Hi again, so welcome to part 3 where we going to learn everything about all electron component that you can find in computer motherboard. So let's continue the part 3. We have here the 8 pin MOSFET. As you can see, you have seen the 8 pin MOSFET. So we have seen that the MOSFET has 4 terminals for drain, 3 for source and one for gate so always pin number one pin number two and pin number three are for sales as you can see here so here for example these three terminals are for sales here we have the gate as you can see always the pin number four is for the gate and the other pins are for drain so if you use the multimeter and you choose the buzzer option or the continuity option when you check these four pins here, you will get a buzzer or a very low, low resistance. Okay, so let's see the next component. So the transformer. So as you can see here, we have the transformer. So the, tr the transformer basically is used in the power electronic like SMPS, switch mode power supply, etc. So for the transformer, you will find always, as you can see here, the primary winding over here and the secondary winding. For example, here in the primary winding, you can have, for example, 230 volt here, for example, and you will get in the secondary winding about, for example, 12 volts. So depending on the how many winding in that inductor. OK, so let's see the next component here. We have the motor, as you can see. OK, we have the motor over here. So basically the motor has two parts the stator okay here that is stable and the rotor as you can see okay so basically the motor is worked due to the current that pass through the 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 the, the, fire, the inductor okay that pass through the inductor so this is basically the symbol for the rotor. As you can see here, we have for the, the motor, here we have the rotor, this one, this one, and this one, and this is the stator, as you can see. So let's see the next component. Here, basically, we have the bridge rectifier. So the bridge rectifier is one of the most important component that you can find in every electronic motherboard, especially switch mode power supply. So basically you can find four diodes connected together or you can find this bridge rectifier like this one with plus here and minus here we have to EC. So basically the purpose of the bridge rectifier is to make the currents or the voltage a continue voltage okay so this is the symbol basically for diodes connected together okay and of course after the bridge rectifier you will always find an electronic capacitor that will filter the current okay so let's see the next component again here we have the relay okay so basically this is the relay the relay contains basically two components one inductor as you can see over here the inductor and the switch okay so when the current pass through this inductor this switch will be energized and will be closed and then the voltage or the current will pass through it okay so here we have the inductor and here as you can see we have the switch as you can see we have here basically two points okay so let's see the next component and then we have the potentiometer as you can see we have here the potentiometer it is it is just a variable resistance okay variable resistance so here we have the symbol you can find a resistance a normal resistor with this arrow means variable or you can find this resistor with this arrow that can be moved from here to here as you can see here. 
So this is basically a variable resistor or a potentiometer. We find usually this kind of resistors in radios, okay, in the radio etc. Okay. So let's see the next component. And we have the ceramic capacitor. Of course, there are many types of ceramic capacitors. There, there is basically ACMT ceramic capacitor that we find in the motherboards, laptop motherboards and computer motherboards. And here we have the THT ceramic capacitor or true hole technology ceramic capacitor with these two terminals. Okay. So of course, always the purpose of the ceramic capacitor is to eliminate the noise in the circuit. Okay. So let's see again the next component. So what we have here. So we have the ACM diffuse. So basically the fuse, it could be an THT fuse or ACM diffuse. Basically here, the symbol for fuse is this, this symbol, or, or sometimes you can find a symbol like a resistors and you can find over here a line, okay? So this is basically a fuse, a real fuse, here we have 3 amps, means this fuse can support just 3 amps, okay, 3 amps, okay. So let's go ahead and see the next component. And here we have the voltage regulator. Basically, we have seen already voltage regulator, but we have seen the THT voltage regulator or true hole technology voltage regulator. And now we have basically SMT voltage regulator. You can find this kind of voltage regulator in computer motherboards. Yes, it seems that this is a transistor or a MOSFET, but you should always refer to the reference above it in order to, to, to be sure whether this one is a MOSFET or voltage regulator or something else. So always for voltage regulator, you will find the input voltage here and the output voltage over here. This one and this one are connected together. This is the ground, okay? So this is for voltage regulator. So let's see the next component. Here we have the power jack or the DC jack, one of the most important components or parts in every laptop motherboard. Why? Because if this one is failed, so the motherboard automatically will be a dead motherboard. Okay. So I this this uh, the, the the power jack basically the failures of laptop motherboards are due to the power jack. About 30 or 40 percent of failures in motherboard due to this power jack. Okay, so you should always check this power jack if you have, if you get a failed motherboard because it could be damaged here inside it, or it could be uh, dry. It could have a dry, not soldered exactly to the motherboard. So basically, the power jack here we have two terminals plus over here we have plus and minus. But sometimes you can find a power jack with three terminals. So plus, minus, and the shells, okay? So let's see again the next component. Here we have inductor. So there is basically many types of inductor. This is the symbol for inductor. Here we have an inductor. This is a inductor that you can find in computer motherboard. And of course, the inductor is designed to adjust the current. For me, the inductor is designed to increase the current in the circuit, okay? So let's see the next component. Here we have the THT LED. We have seen before the SMT light emitting diode. And over here we have THT or true hole technology LED. As you can see here, we have two terminals. Okay, that is connected to the motherboard here. As you can see, we have two parts, metal parts inside it. So the big parts always refer to the cathode. And the smallest parts refer to the anode. So 
to check basically this diode you can use it the multimeter you have to or you should just use the same working principle to test a normal diode always the read probe of the multimeter here in the anode or in the positive terminal and the black probe here in the cathode or in the negative terminal and you should get a reading about 700 to voltage 400 500 uh, 500 no problem but you should not get a short or a continuity or a buzzer when you get a, sh a, a continuity or a buzzer means the diode is shorted is failed and of course here we have two arouse means emitting diode okay so let's see the next component so here as you can see we have switches we have already see switches okay so let's see switches so here as you can see we have switches we have this one we called it smd switch as you can see here smd switch connected directly to the motherboard and over here we have terminals long terminals means this is dht switch or through hole technology switches or devices and of course here we have this symbol simple the symbol for the switch when you push it you connect this two point and then the voltage or current will pass from this point to this point okay so this is all about the switches so thank you very much this is all for the part number three we're gonna see part number four tomorrow and please don't forget to subscribe share the video and please like the video if you enjoy it and uh, of course for anyone who want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome I share there in my Patreon page a very unique content I upload in a daily basis laptop schematics and of course you're gonna find many tips and tricks there so thank you very much and see you tomorrow with a new video thank you very much